Hey, I wanted to speak about real quickly, and as a property manager, I'm seeing a real difference. Sorry for the glasses, it's sunny out. Uh, I'm under here somewhere. Uh, I'm seeing a real difference in renovations. So almost every new client that we put on, uh, I would probably say a good 75, 80% of the new properties we put on are recent rehabs. So where somebody has uh, either purchased a house as new construction or even new construction, this actually applies to that as well, um, oddly enough, um, or it, the property has been recently renovated. And I'm seeing a big difference in the sustainability of the renovations. So it's very common for us to get a recent rehab that doesn't look like a recent rehab uh, before long, just because of the quality of the work. And we actually get new construction homes, believe it or not, that after uh, people buy a brand new home that's built foundation on up brand new, uh, the first resident, the first people to live in that property uh, it uh, would be a tenant. So we're a property management company, we'll place a tenant and we are extremely effective at our tenant screening, extremely effective. And it's not uncommon for the house just to get excessive wear and tear because of the extremely low quality material. So we've had million dollar properties uh, that actually look uh, like, I don't even know, that the, the value goes down hundreds of thousands of dollars just because the flooring might look good when they install it, uh, but it doesn't look good uh, for long. You know, so after the first tenant moves out, you're just talking about hundreds of thousands of hours of hit, even with a new construction home. And same thing with a recent rehab. So when you're doing your rehabs, really make sure you're making it so, you know, sustainable, that it's going to continue and long lasting. So you wanna use classic uh, items, just not something that's in style right now and looks great right now. Uh, you probably want to go and when I do a renovation I try to actually do things like subway tiles and things that I think will be current and in style for a very long time I'm not going to really go and do glass black splashes uh, tile which I think looks awesome but you know even right now they're starting to go out of style then it's gonna start dating your property that's not really what I'm actually uh, talking about um, you know I'm definitely not talking about functional obsolescence or anything along the lines of that more what I'm talking about is just that the quality of the materials the job that's done um, is just gonna end up looking lousy so we actually have properties that are gonna go one or two ways you know, the renovation was done well and the materials were uh, of enough quality and the workmanship was enough quality that it's actually going to continue looking fairly new and be a recent rehab. We can describe it as a recent rehab to quite a few generations of tenants, or it's basically going to start looking very bad as soon as somebody, uh, you know, cracks open the, you know, cracks open that uh, package of that first unit. There's even a, a recent rehab or a brand new renovation on my block that's being sold and the workmanship is horrible. I saw how they put the windows in. They have these uh, window boxes that actually are not installed correctly. That the, this, just the sun alone is going to melt these, uh, these window boxes probably in a matter of months. It's already started, I already start seeing the window boxes kind of caving on down. Uh, you know, tenants to see a brand new window box, tenants to see beautiful plants, you know, tenants, or uh, actually in this case, the property owner, the person who's going to buy the property is uh, only seeing that. They're not seeing the quality of these planters. They're not seeing the longevity of these planters, you know. Uh, and again, the longevity of these planters, in this case, is probably a matter of months. You know, they put these planters on to get the property sold. I doubt the folks that are buying it are thinking, okay, well, this is just staging and I'll put my own planters on it. Uh, you know, because they're actually drilled in, literally drilled in these cheap vinyl uh, planters right into the masonry, uh, you know, with actually uh, drywall screws. So, I mean, if you saw this house, you probably would think it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Uh, it's not going to be beautiful for long. And that's kind of my point. So if you are investing in real estate, if you're doing buy and hold, if you're actually flipping properties, uh, it's obviously less paramount for you to, uh, try to make sure I don't smash into anybody else. I'm actually trying to do a podcast here. Uh, no guarantees. Uh, so yeah, when, if you're actually doing a flip, obviously it's not as much of a priority. Uh, you know, I certainly cannot advocate I would never flip a property knowing that it was not going to be a good option for a home but that's uh, for everyone to choose their own path on that uh, but if you're doing buy and hold you need to make sure that your property can go the distance not just in, in quality materials 
and also in making sure that the materials you choose will remain in style for a while. All right, I'm a Philadelphia uh, property management company owner, doing my best not to get into an accident, doing my best to answer your Philadelphia property management, I'm sorry, your uh, rental property management, I'm sorry, your rental property investing questions. I'm actually, again, just in very concentrated uh, traffic right now and probably causing more problems than I'm actually solving. All right, as always, happy real estate investing.